Okay, scholars, this is our next, um, this is our listen and respond for this week, the week of uh, January 13th. So this book is called Hair Love. And here's the front cover. I'm sorry, this camera is not working very well today. All right, and here's the back. Sometimes love looks like braids, puffs, and twists. All right, so let's go ahead and finish, get started here. We need to put our name at the top and then put the date. It'll either be the 15th or the 16th, depending on your group color. Make sure you write 2020 and not 2019. All right, then write the title here on this line, Hair Love. Make sure we capitalize it because it's a title of a book. And we are already previewed, so now we're ready to fill in our blanks here. So what do you think this book is going to be about? I think this book will be about blank. Why do you think this? I think this because I see it on the front cover. Or I think this because I read it on the back boom so you're filling this in remember these two answers need to be different you can't i don't want to know the same thought that's like a waste of your time and a waste of my time come up with two different ideas about what you think this story is about based off of what you see on the front and what you've read on the back okay the next thing we need to be worrying about are our characters and our setting so it says, readers know that understanding the characters and setting of a story helps them to better understand what's going on in the story. List the characters from the story here, and then what do you know about them? Give me some things that you know. Right here, you're going to tell me the setting. The setting of the story is blank. And then here, I want you to tell me how does the setting match. So that means, like, think about why did the author choose whatever you write here to be the setting. So think about it like this. If the story is about a teacher... Does it make sense that the story is happening at your house? Do your teachers ever come to your house? Nope, not really. Where do teachers normally hang out? At a school, right? So that means that the the character, I mean, the author chose the setting to be a school because that makes sense with the characters that are in the story, like a teacher and a student. So another example would be if you're telling a story about a shark, are you going to tell it in a mall? No, sharks don't hang out at malls. They hang out where? In the ocean. So the setting for a story about a shark would probably be in an ocean. So you're telling me how does it match with what's happening? So make sure you keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and get started reading. <laughs> this book is by Matthew Cherry, and the illustrations are by Vash Vashti Harrison. My name is Zuri, and I have hair that has a mind of its own. It kinks, coils, and curls every which way. Daddy tells me it is beautiful. That makes me proud. I love that my hair lets me be me. In funky braids with beads, I am a princess. And when my hair is in two puffs, I'm above the clouds like a superhero. My hair even does magic tricks. One day, Rocky and I were playing outside when along came the rain. From large to small it went, presto, just like that. There is nothing my hair can't do. Today I woke up extra early all by myself. I was too excited to sleep. It's a big day. Daddy was still sleeping. Shh, I said to Rocky as we tiptoed past him. Lately, Daddy has been worn out. He makes me breakfast, breakfast takes me to school, goes to work, picks me up, and yesterday we went for a bike ride around the park. I think he needs a break. All right, so I'm going to pause right here because I think we have some of our characters that we can go ahead and write down. So it looks like we have the first, the girl, her name is Zuri, and the dad, and then Rocky, right? And maybe we'll have some other characters that come up that might be more important than the cat later. Um, so go ahead and fill those in, and then I want you to come up with uh, at least two 
two traits. So thinking inner traits, those are things that we can tell by what the character does, what they say, and then outer traits, thinking about what we can see on the outside, okay? And then what is the setting of the story? I think we can go ahead and answer that, so fill that one in. And then tell me how does it match what's going on in the story? Let's go ahead and see what we need to work on next. It says make a prediction. A prediction is when readers guess what might happen next in the story. What do you think might happen next? Something I think might happen next is blank. Why do you think this? I think this because blank. All right, let's go ahead and keep reading and see what happens next. Because today is special. I want a perfect hairstyle. This calls for a professional's touch. Pause off, Rocky. Daddy heard the crash. Zuri, what on earth? He asked. I was only trying to help, I said. Daddy smiled. Can I help too? It'll be a piece of cake, Zuzu. The first style was a big no way. The second was no better. No, Daddy. Then Daddy tried slicking my hair back into two puffs. Ouch! Daddy yelled. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go ahead and pause here. We're going to go ahead and make a prediction about what might happen next. So it looks like her dad's helping her get ready, getting her hair done. So something I think might happen next is he will find a style she likes. So that's something that I think he, that might happen next. He will find a hairstyle Zuri likes. Then I think this because, well, dads like to help their kids. Dads like to help their kids. Okay. So you can go ahead and have these two if you want, but I need you to come up with another one that's different down here. So go ahead and fill that in. <clears throat> Wait a minute, Daddy said as he reached into the drawer and pulled out a pick. Ta-da! Daddy, really? I said. I'll be right back, he promised. Now how's that, he asked, pulling a hat down over my eyes. Daddy, come on. We can do better than that. I really need my hair to be special. Don't worry, he said. We'll figure this out. Then I had a great idea. Daddy gathered all the tools we needed and we were set. Watching carefully, Daddy combed, parted, oiled, and twisted. He nailed it! Funky puff buns. Pretty, pretty, and so much fun. Rocky approved, too. I put on my superhero cape as the final touch to a perfect look. Where's my Zuzu? Mommy called from the door. She could not get in the house fast enough. Mommy! You've got to be the prettiest Supergirl I have ever seen, she said. And your hair is beautiful, Zuri. Who did it? I looked at Daddy and beamed. Mommy smiled. Very nice. Thank you. We learned from the best, Daddy said as he gave her a big hug. My hair is mommy, daddy, and me. It's hair love. All right, the end. So the next part is visualize. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to think about how this might look in our heads. Like, what are you imagining as you're reading this? So what do you think this story, this part of the story might look like? So I'm imagining the part in the story where Zuri's mom sees her hair style. So remember, Zuri wanted it to be perfect. So go ahead and write this down. Make sure you have exactly what I have here. Zuri, Z-U-R-I apostrophe S. Mom, M-O-M, sees, S-E-E-S, her, H-E-R, hair, H-A-I-R, style, S-T-Y-L-E. So I'm imagining the part in the story where Zuri's mom sees her hairstyle. I'm imagining it looks like blank. Three things to describe this are blank, blank, and blank. So right here is where you're going to put like the one word description. It looks happy. It looks exciting. It looks fun. What does it look like? Down here, you're going to tell me about what you see that lets you know that they're feeling happy. So for example, three things to describe this are mom has a big smile on her face. So when I know when someone is smiling, I know they're feeling happy, right? So I can see it on their face that they feel happy. Um, you tell me two other things. You can keep this one or come up with your own. Then you're filling in this blank. I think this part looks like this because blank. Once you finish that, you're flipping over to the back. And we need to summarize. Readers, think about the most important parts of a book. In your own words, give me a summary of the story you just listened to. The story blank talks about blank. In the beginning of the story, blank happens. In the middle, blank. At the end, blank. Down here, you're going to go on to Google Classroom and click a new post. For uh, You pick either Making Connections or you pick Story Continued. So if you're choosing Making Connections, you think about ways this book is similar to your own life. Life. So you would say making connections to hair love. Something that I can connect with is when blank happened to me, just like blank happened to Zuri in the book, right? So you write down the part that connects to you and the part that connects to the book so that we don't feel confused when we read it. If you don't have a connection, that's okay. You can go ahead and do story continued. Readers, think about what might happen next if the book were to keep going. Title the post, Hair Love Continued. Then you're going to write what would happen next. Remember, it shouldn't be something that's already happened. You want to make something new happen. So once you finish your post, you are finished with this for to this week. Go ahead and make sure your name is on it and turn it in to me. If you haven't finished your word work, you can go ahead and start on that. If you're finished with everything, you can do Lexia or IXL.